Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Blowing Glitter Overlays. This overlay collection contains 20 blowing glitters that you can add really simply and easily to your images in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to download, how to open them and how to apply them. So let's get started. Upon purchase, you will be sent download links in your email. And inside your download, you will find the LSP Glitter Applicator Actions and the Blowing Glitter Overlay Collection. These are the glitter images. So um, on a PC, you can simply right click the zipped file, zipped to make um, an easier, faster download and choose Extract All. And there they are there. You see this is now an open folder on Mac. You can double click and if this is not working, um, you're going to need to use the Archive Utility option. Any trouble unzipping um, whatever operating system you use, please go on Google and um, search it. It's actually quite simple um, to unzip a folder. It's really important when you're using these that you work from the unzipped. If you work from this zipped up um, locked folder, it may look a little bit different depending on what computer you're using, but it will be kind of a folder with a zip in it. Um, Photoshop won't be able to read that, so you need to unzip that. The next thing you have in your download are the free complimentary LSP Sparkle and Shine Glitter Actions. These are really easy to get into Photoshop. You can drag and drop them or you can double click and they will be installed into Photoshop. If it comes up with a, a message saying, you know, we don't know what program to open this in, just choose Photoshop. Any other troubles um, installing the actions, you can go on the LSP Actions website on the help section. I've got lots of different methods there for getting the actions in, but really it normally is as simple as double clicking. If you can't see the actions right away, come up here to window and choose actions and you'll see them here. You may see them in um, grey mode or you may see them in button mode. On grey mode, if you're on grey mode, what I like to do is close that down and drag it right to the top of my action panel. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, I've got an awful lot of actions <laughs> included in here. Uh, all the LSP actions are in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag this right up to the top. I just find it easier to drag the action we're working to on the top. And you can put this little drop down to open up the action. So inside you have choose your sparkle. And if you're using Photoshop Elements, this is how it will look. And then you have some extra options um, after you've added the sparkle, the glitter in, which I'll show you in just a minute. So you can either choose this and click play. Or if you're on full versions of Photoshop, come up here to the little um, burger menu and choose button mode. If your button mode looks like this, simply drag it in until it snaps into a nice, neat column. And this way you can just click the action and play it out. On Elements, you won't have this option. So you'll have to choose the action, hit the play button. So let's get started. First of all, open your image in Photoshop. Um, this is just a flat image. It doesn't really matter if you've got layers or not. You just need to open up the image. Um, and obviously you'd kind of want your, your um, client in the blowing glitter um, position. For this, for adults, you can ask them to blow you a kiss. For children, you can do the same. If children are kind of putting their hand to their mouth a little too much, Ask them to imagine there's a little fairy sitting on their fingers. Tell them to whisper goodnight because this brings the hand closer and then tell them to blow the fairy away. And you really get this beautiful, um, this beautiful shot of the child blowing the glitter because sometimes children can't necessarily imagine. Imagine you've got a handful of glitter and you're, and you're blowing it everywhere. So that's just a little tip there for getting the pose. This is a really great pose. You can incorporate this into all your sessions really quickly. Just say, hey, blow the glitter and then you can add it really quickly in Photoshop. And let me show you how. So with the actions loaded, you click choose your sparkle and a little notice box comes here saying the window will open for you to choose your sparkle. And in the downloads folder, make sure that you've um, you choose the unzipped, not the zipped version. So go ahead and open this up. I'm just going to make these larger and you can see all the sparkles inside here, all these blowing glitters. So um, go ahead and choose one. Which one shall we choose for this image? Let's go for um, how about blowing glitter six? And you'll see it comes up semi-transparent so you can resize this, you can move it around. You can get this into the position you want it to be. Double click or hit enter. The action is played out and the glitter is added. It's really that simple. You can see a black brush has been selected for you. So you can just go ahead and you can erase this from anywhere. You don't really want it to show on your image. On the actions over here, you have um, flip the sparkle left or right, which you can click if you want to, to move it around. Duplicate sparkle. This is if you want it to look even stronger. So you can click that and that will duplicate it. And that will um, really make it look pow powerful. You can add contrast, brighten them up, darken, resize. 
You can make them golden. I tend to do this for most um, images when I'm adding sparkles. If any of these layers added, if you can't see your layers panel, by the way, come up here to window and choose layers. So if any of these layers that are being created um, are too strong, you can just slide the opacity down and play with them. A black brush is selected so you can paint this off any way you don't want it to show uh, with black or white. You can make the sparkles silver or you can make them rainbow. This is just going to play out with some rainbow options there. Again, with a brush so you can paint some different colours. Um, you can also have a choose your colour option here. If it, the box doesn't pop up, just double click this little icon up here in your layers panel. Slide the top and you can choose this to make it any colour you want. Really, really simple and lots of fun tools in there. We'll blur your sparkle as well if you want to make it blurry. Before we play any of these, by the way, make sure you click on the glitter for best results. And show on whites. Now, whatever, whenever you have these glitters, they're going to make, they're going to look lighter. So if you have a white image, you can't get lighter than white. So you're going to have to darken the sparkle. And to me, that just doesn't look, I mean, I've put the option there for you if you really need to use it. But really, you want to use a darker background, a richer toned background to really make these glitters show up. Because whatever you put them on, they're going to look lighter than the background. So make sure your background's kind of mid-tone to dark. The darker, the better, really. So there are the options there that you can add in. Just have a play with those. I'm going to show you how to add a glitter in um, without using the actions if you prefer to add them manually. So come up to File and choose Place Embedded. Choose the glitter you want to add by double clicking and you'll see this comes up as a solid black background. Up here in your Layers panel, make sure you can see your Layers panel, Window, Layers. Where it says Normal, click this and go down to Screen and bam, the glitter shows. And you can resize this and um, add it where you want. Double click or hit enter or hit the tick and it's done. But what you might want to do manually if you're adding manually is add a layer mask. Um, the little um, box down here with the circle in it. Grab a brush set to black and you can paint this off anywhere you don't want it to show. And just like that. So that's how to add them with the actions or manually. But I much prefer using the actions. It's a lot quicker. So let's go up for another image here. These work well if you've just got a candid kind of mobile phone snap you want to use, maybe if you're children, you can do the glitters too. So let's go choose your sparkle. Um, which one should we add in? I'm just going to click any old sparkle here. Pop it in and hit enter and it's done. Just like that. Let's see before and after. Really, really quick. And here again, just do before and after. So you literally just add them in. Choose your sparkle. Um, which one should we go for here? Pop that in and boof, it's done. The black brush is already selected so you can just quickly go over and paint away anywhere you don't want this to show. And you can layer them up. Let's choose another one. And just pop it in there. You can just keep layering these if you want to. Add as many or as few as you like. And the great thing is they're all on different um, separate layers here over in your layers panel so you can turn these on or off, decide what you want, mix them up, you can move them around, you can just do whatever you want with them. Let's make this one golden, just like that. Really, really simple. You can see I'm turning them off just by clicking the little eye icon. Let's add three different colour glitters here for these three lovely ladies. So let's choose one sample first. Let's have a look. Choose the sparkle. Um, I'm just going to go for this one. Let's add this for... Let's just add this one in general first. So there we have one. Hit the stop button and let's choose another one. Um, how about this one? Makes it a little smaller. And stop. Let's go for another one for this lady over here. So I'm just going to keep adding these in. And let's go for one more in the middle. You can see just how super quick and easy these are to use. Really, really easy. So yeah, we already have three glitters there now. Actually four because there's, I added one in in general. And what we can do now, how about we change the colour so they've each got their own colour of glitter. So let's go with this lady over here first. So I'm just going to click on her glitter here in the layer panel. You can double check by turning it on or off. 
and then go to choose your colour. Double click that little box. What colour shall we have for her? Let's have purple or maybe pink. And now this glitter here, this lady over here, I've just clicked on the glitter and choose your colour. How about green for her? And then lady in the front, let's go for choose your colour. What colour should we go for? Blue. And you can always double click on these and change them as you go to just completely kind of, um, you know, go for something completely different. It's up to you. Just play around. It's really good fun. I'm just going to click on that mask and take a few of these away off the face. And then we have three different colours of glitter. And you can just, because they're layers, you can turn these on or off and you can really just mess around until you're happy. Nothing is final until you say so. Really, really quick and easy. I love this image here. So choose your sparkle. Um, let's go for this one here. I like this one because it's kind of coming out both sides. Flip that around a little bit. I'm going to um, make that golden as well. Let's add another one in, just because it's so much fun. <laughs> How about this one here? No, really, really easy. We could add one more, couldn't we? It's knowing when to stop is the secret. I like this one because this is really close to the camera. So just like that, I mean, what did that take? Seconds to add these in. Let's make that one golden as well to really go with the image. I'm just going to bring that opacity down. You can literally just play and play and play. Oops. Oh, there we go. So that really, really simple. So just install the actions, unzip the glitters, and away you go. Oh, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Just because it's so quick. You can see the glitters are quite light on the face as they would be because like I said the glitters come up lighter um, than your image. Whatever whatever you have, however pale your image is, the glitter will be even paler. That's why it's good to work on a darker background. Hit stop and I'm just, just painting away just a little bit there. All the glitter, all the real, because these are real, um, they're not digitised at all, these are actually shot in camera. Um, I made such a mess and you know it's it's much better to use these um, on the computer than it is to actually have glitter in your studio because oh my goodness it gets absolutely everywhere. When I um, first um, did glitters for LSP I had to go and get my camera professionally cleaned because there was glitter in inside it was all over the place it was oh my goodness it's still showing up now years later and um I did these a few days ago and I'm literally finding glitter on my children, on my pets. Again, it's in the camera. It, it just never quite goes away, that glitter. So as you can see, I'm adding quite a few to this one. Really, you know, really adding that kind of party tone here. I'm doing it while I'm chatting. I'm doing it without particularly thinking. I'm just adding them in. Let's put some... like that bish bash bosh and there she goes Woo! <laughs> I love it it's so much fun let me find I did have an image here from the side oh here it is okay so you um, if you have your client blowing glitter from the side you also have some side blow glitters in here as well down the bottom here you have five side on glitters and these are quite fun to mix and match so I'm just going to resize that, oops, resize that here. So we're just getting to that right place. So this is just blowing from the side. And let's pop another one in just to add that depth. How about this one? And at any point, if you add one in and, you know, you don't like it, you can simply, you know, just delete the layer or turn it off grab another one let's go for one more side blow glitter um how about this one it's got some nice bokeh in there just 
really, really simple. And I'm just going to go for one in her hand. How about this one here? Just to add, just to look like there's still a little more, um, you know, sitting there. And this has gone on her face a little bit, so I'm going to take it off. Of course, you don't have to. And there we go. Whoosh. And if you own any of the other um, glitters on the LSP Actions website, over here, we have Impact Glitter. These are like for full image glitters. You have the glitter wings for adding them in. The bokeh glitter, these are the more um, beautiful sparkly glitters for your background. And then of course the blowing glitter, which is what we're talking about today. But you can add these over your whole image as well to really add that glittery tone without the cleanup mess. So that's how to use the LSP blowing glitters in Photoshop. Um, same goes for Photoshop Elements as well. Um, you can place manually, just make sure you change that blend mode up here to screen and you're good to go. Or use the actions which have everything here that's done for you. So I can't wait to see what you do with these. Make sure you join the LSP Actions editing group or post on Instagram and tag LSP Actions so I can see the results you're getting with these glitters. Enjoy! I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.